Hey guys, we're going to be looking at co-interior angles on a parallel line. So let's get right into it. So here's the proof for co-interior angles on a parallel line. So as usual, we're going to be starting off with our two parallel lines, a transversal. And what we're trying to figure out is the relationship between the co-interior angles here, in this case, between R and B. Now, if you had been watching the previous videos, we can start using some of those um, skills that we learned from there for this, um, for this proof. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out, I know that angle G and angle R are corresponding angles, and I know that, that they're going to be the same thing. So R is equal to G because corresponding angles are equal on parallel lines. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just look at angle G and angle B. So there's angle B and angle G, but because that's the green angle, but I know that angle G is actually equal to angle R. So I'm going to replace angle G with angle R. Now, based on the fact that I know that angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees, I know that angle R plus angle B was going to equal 180 degrees because angles on a straight line add to 180 degrees. So from here, what I can see is the relationship between angle R and B here. Because what I've actually proven is that angle R plus angle B equals 180 degrees. So in other words, what we can say is that co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees on parallel lines. So the proof is that angle, well, the relationship between the co-interior angles is that they add to 180. So angle R, the red angle, plus the blue angle is equal to 180. All right, let's have a look at a couple of examples. So here's my first one, and I've been asked to find out what X is. Now looking at these two angles, I know that they're co-interior. And because they're co-interior, angle X plus angle 110 equals 180 degrees. And so from here, rearranging things, I'm going to get 180, take away 110, so angle X equals 70 degrees. And of course, don't forget the reasoning, which is co-interior angles add to 180 degrees on parallel lines. All right, let's have a look at another example. Now in this case, I've got the two parallel lines heading upwards, but I know that they're parallel because of those two little arrows pointing, which means that they are parallel lines. So now I've been asked to find what X is. I know that X and 40 degrees are co-interior angles, and because of that, X plus 40 degrees equals 180 degrees. Rearranging, I'm going to get X equals 180, take away 40, which means X is actually equal to 140 degrees. And of course, don't forget the geometric reasoning, which is co-interior angles add to 180 degrees on parallel lines. All right. That's about it for this session, guys. Um, I hope that all sunk in. <laughs> but thank you for watching.